Hi, and welcome to this introduction to Software Architecture for 2018. In this uh, talk, will be a series of uh, short video segments. I'll talk about, um, introduce myself, who am I, I'll introduce this subject, and then we'll go through some of the things that you may need to know about the subject, such as how it's taught and run, uh, where the lectures are, and where the tu what happens in the tutorials, how your knowledge will be assessed, um, importantly, how to get good marks, and where's the fun? So let's start with who am I? Uh, I'm Tom McBride. I've uh, spent uh, about a bit over 25 years in industry, so I'm not, uh, not quite a full-time academic. Uh, I have been in academia in the last, I guess, 10 years, and uh, I have a research interest in software engineering, and that is particularly software engineering, not some aspect of it, but just generally how do you produce software? I was involved in uh, ISO standards development for quite a number of years uh, in, and in that arena I got to know how um, some of the, the, the people who are very knowledgeable in the industry, uh, how they regarded um, software architecture for example and how to evaluate software architecture, how to document it, how to evaluate it. So a very, very um, interesting experience that was. Now, I have taught this subject for quite a number of years, and it's always surprising to find out just how many years. Uh, it has changed over that time, simply because the industry has changed, and my understanding of uh, teaching has changed, and my understanding of software architecture has changed, and software architecture itself has also changed. Now, about this subject, this subject will teach uh, software architecture. We'll, we'll talk a bit about uh, what software software architecture is and is not. Uh, we'll go through the, the process of developing an architecture, which sounds a little strange because it, people tr think that developing a software architecture is an act of creation. Well, it is and it isn't. Uh, there are some things you can do that, that make it more probable to get an architecture. And by the time we've finished, you should be capable of developing a sound architecture. All right, the, the general idea is that at the end of this subject, you should be able to work in a team, a, a software architecture team, and to know what you're doing to be able to contribute to the team. Um, the pass mark is geared to that. Um, for a distinction or a high distinction, the, the general standard is if you're going to do that, you should be able to lead an architecture project. The, the, in the subject, because it is a, a, an introduction to uh, software architecture, um, it doesn't try to deal with advanced topics. Uh, so we don't get too much into design for X, for example, uh, that is designed for high security or designed for extreme reliability. Um, they are very advanced topics and um, not. we just don't have time in this particular, uh, in one term, to cover the basics of design and architecture as well as the advanced topics, so they can wait for another time. Uh, it does assume that you know about software and you know about programming. Um, it is software architecture, it's not a general purpose design, it is geared to software systems. 